In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an amazing architecture sketch effect with a few Photoshop tricks. You'll learn how to turn a photo into a set of lines, and even how to simulate a perspective grid for a more convincing result. My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and this is how to create an architecture sketch effect in Adobe Photoshop, originally written by Marco Kozokar on Envato Tatstas. For this tutorial, you'll need a photo and a handwritten font. The links to both can be found in the description. To ensure your end result looks just like mine, check out a couple of things first. Your photo should be in RGB color mode, 8 bits per channel. To check this, go to Image Mode. For best results, your photo size should be between 2000 and 4000 pixels wide high. To check this, go to Image Image Size. Your photo should be the background layer. If it's not, go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. Press D to reset the swatches. Now we're ready to get started. Create a new fill layer with this color. Double click this layer, check Gradient Overlay, and use these settings to create a subtle gradient for the background. Name the layer Background Color. Duplicate the background layer with Ctrl J. Drag the copy to the top. Press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate this layer. Then go to Image, Adjustment, Levels, and enter these settings to increase the contrast. Name this layer Temp and press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Now press Ctrl I to invert the colors and change the blend mode to color dodge. Then go to Filter, Other, Minimum, and set the radius to 2 pixels and preserve to squareness. Press Ctrl E to merge these two layers. Change the blend mode of this layer to Multiply and name it Main Sketch. Select the background layer and duplicate it with Ctrl J. Drag this layer to the top. Now go to Filter, Stylize, find Edges, and then press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate this layer. Go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and set the values as shown here. Go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen, and enter the settings as shown here. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Sketch, Photocopy, and set the Detail to 2 and Darkness to 5. Change the Blend Mode of this layer to Multiply and change the Opacity to 40%. Then name this layer Perspective Sketch 1. Now go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All to add a layer mask that hides the whole layer. Set the foreground color to white, Take the brush tool, pick a soft brush, and paint where you want to review the vertical perspective lines. Let's repeat the process to create the horizontal lines. Duplicate the background layer, go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges, and then press Ctrl Shift U to desaturate this layer, then add the motion blur, this time using zero for the angle. Sharpen the lines with Smart Sharpen, and add the photocopy filter. Change the blend mode of this layer to multiply and set the opacity to 55%. Then name this layer Perspective Sketch 2. Now go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All. Paint on the mask with a soft brush to reveal the lines where you want them to be. Let's add the text now. Pick your font and adjust its settings. Draw a text area and go to Type, Paste Lorem Ipsum to paste some random text. Edit the text for a proper length and move it where you want it to be. Name this layer Text1. Use the same technique to add more text. You can create a more interesting effect by rotating some of the text. Press Ctrl T to transform the chosen layer and set the rotate to 15 degrees.
let's make final adjustments to the design. Press D to reset the swatches and select the uppermost text layer. Then add a gradient map adjustment layer and name it Overall Contrast. Change the blend mode to Soft Light and set the opacity to 35%. Add a Levels adjustment layer and increase the contrast with it. Name it Overall Brightness. Press Ctrl Alt Shift E to make a screenshot. Then go to Filter, Other, High Pass, and set the radius to 2 pixels. Change the blend mode of this layer to Hard Light and name it Overall Sharpening. And that's all! Now you know how to create a sketch effect in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching!